Trevor Isaac here, and today we are going to be doing a review of Zubuntu 1404 long term release, um, latest in the long string of uh, Zubuntu releases. This is Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop environment. Um, this review is not going to be too long just because there, there's not a lot of new features. Uh, this being a long term support release, it, it looks to me like the focus was more on stability and refining features as opposed to new features. And and uh, two thumbs up to both the Ubuntu and the Zubuntu team on on pulling that part of it off. Um, really, I there's one bug that I found, and um, you know hopefully there's going to be a, a, a solution for that one soon. I'll, I'll explain that one in just a minute. Um, but other than that one bug, I mean, everything is working great. No crashes or, or glitches, anything like that. So, uh, you know, two thumbs up on that part of things. Um, the one bug that I'm seeing is, and, and other people have reported it, is that when, uh, if you select to auto log in uh, on your computer for some reason I don't know why it is not working so uh, hopefully they'll get that bug fixed soon and uh, we'll move on from there but uh, that is the one bug that I have found um, it's not a big deal to me I always use a login on my screen anyway but uh, you know it is what it is I'm sure that the people that uh, like that lo auto login are um, they get annoyed uh, with not being able to auto log in. All right, for those of you who have used the previous versions of Zubuntu, you'll notice that we no longer have the bottom panel. Um, now, it, you know, you can still go and add that back. You can still add extra panels. Uh, that hasn't changed, but from the from the factory, uh, so to speak, uh, that bottom panel is gone. My guess is the reason for that is uh, the addition of the new menu. Um, if you remember the old menu, it was uh, very much like what you see in open box. Um, it's very simple, um, just you know, bare bones menu. The new menu, it's called the whisker menu, and you know, you've been able to add this via repositories for a while. Um, but now it's you know it's coming stock, much better menu, uh, better organized, nicer looking, uh, and also you've got this search function. So like let's say I'm looking for Abby Word, so type in Abby, boom, it pops up Abby Word. Click it, Abby Word pulls up. Very you know easy to use, very nice. Um, yeah, let me pull up settings here. Um, there's also a menu editor. They use Menu Libre for their menu, menu editor. Um, I'll be honest, I have not played around with Menu Libre um, to any great length yet, so I can't really offer any tips or suggestions on tweaking your menu. But uh, you know, maybe I'll get a video up on on how to do that once I uh, I stumble through uh, how to work with Menu Libre. Um, because there's some there's some changes I'd like to make to the menu myself. Um, let me close that down. Yeah, normally I'm not much of a of a menu based person for launching applications. I either use like a quick launcher across the bottom or or a sidebar type deal, um, or I'll use something like GnomeDo or Synapse with you know a, a text base. Um, application launcher. Um, the the text base is, is my number one preference just because my fingers never le need to leave the keyboard um, which really speeds up my workflow when I'm uh, when I'm uh, uh, at work on my novels and need to do some research and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, you know if you're a menu kind of person that uh, that whisker menu it, it looks pretty good. Um, I uh, really like that. Uh, they've added some, um, pull up the desktop settings here. They've added some new uh, wallpapers. 
yeah, they're nice. Um, you know, no complaints with them. Personally, I, as far as my wallpapers go, I tend to personalize it either with something I find out online uh, or, you know, home photos, home illustrations, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's nice, not a big deal, but, uh, you know, they're nice looking uh, wallpapers, you know, nothing bad looking. Um, never, ever quite understood what is with the the, the dot things. If somebody can go and send me a message and uh, you know message me and tell me what is with the dots because you always see those dots on the uh, on the Zubuntu wallpapers. What is with the dots? I don't know. I'm just rambling on the, on that one. Um, we still have basically the same default applications. Um, you know, we, we still are using Firefox and for the web browser, Thunderbird for uh, your email, um, Abby Word for your word processor, Numeric for spreadsheets, Pigeon, you know, we really haven't seen changes there. Um, are there different ones I think they should use? Possibly. Um, you know, Thunderbird's not my favorite. Um, yeah, email client. If I was looking for a lightweight client, um, you know, I can think of several that I would go with over Thunderbird. Um, Geary, I really like. Claws Mail is a good lightweight job. Um, you know, so yeah, but you know, it is what it is. And the nice thing about with with working with a Linux system is that changing out stuff like that is so easy. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Abbey Word. It's probably good enough for, you know, the average home letter or, you know, writing letters to friends and, you know, even the short paper for, for uh, uh, kids uh, for school. Um, personally, I'd rather go with a full office suite, but, uh, you know, that's just me. Um, my personal preference is LibreOffice. Um, some people like Ab um, not Abby Word. What am I trying to think of? Um, OpenOffice. Um, and there's there's a, quite a big following of uh, Kingsoft Office. And some people, you know, via Wine or Play on Linux, put on um, uh, Microsoft Office. So uh, yeah, that that's the nice thing with uh, with the Linux systems is being able to having all those options available. Um, okay, the one one improvement that you know I've been kind of saving this till last, and for some people maybe not a big deal. For me, I think it's uh, it, it is a big deal, and that is uh, memory use. As I've been monitoring my memory use on um, on my installation here. Uh, Without running, you know, without having a bunch of applications run, just sort of a baseline memory use, I'm looking at uh, 250 to 200 megs of RAM that I'm using. That's it. That's down about 100 megs from uh, 1310. Um, now, 100 megs of RAM, yeah, yeah, that's not a lot of memory. Well, no, but if you're looking at lightweight operating systems, and you know you're running this on say a, a computer that only has two gigs of RAM, a hundred gigs extra of RAM, you know that can be significant. Um, and I mean we're we're down at the point where we're almost into uh, like uh, Lubuntu um, uh, territory as far as RAM usage. Um, my CPU usage is only like one percent. And I mean, this isn't. Uh, I've got this on my laptop. It's a, it's a older, uh, you know, Dell D830. Um, it's a dual core processor, uh, 2.5 uh, uh, gigahertz speed. So I mean, it's, it's decent, but it's it's definitely no rocket here. Um, so. Uh, you know the fact that I'm only using one percent of my CPU uses as a baseline. I mean, it's it's great. Um, you know, they they're really doing a good job of making everything work smooth, use as little memory as possible. 
um, and I think that's the that's the 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 takeaway message of uh, uh, the 1404 series is that there haven't been a whole lot of new features added. Um, there hasn't been you know new applications. There's, there's not much that's new. What they have done is they have done a lot of work on refining this uh, this operating system, and and really that's true with all of the 1404s. Uh, you know, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, uh, the Ubuntu, Kubuntu, all of them, um, really stable. Everything works well, and uh, you know I think that's the takeaway message. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, big old thumbs up uh, if you liked it uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to get some more of this great content oh and let me mention the new series I'm working on um, doing an intro to Linux series uh, as of the time that I'm recording this video I've already got the first in that series up it is how to install uh, how to install a Linux system on your computer I use Ubuntu 1404 as uh, as my example um, and that is why you're not you're seeing this uh, this desktop as is from the factory no changes or anything because I'm using this as my baseline and will be using that for the rest of that video series um, my plans are to show how to set up the panels add docs um, you know all that basic stuff that those of us who've been using Linux systems for a while is all secondhand to, but for somebody coming over from the Linux side of things, maybe a little leery of, maybe you don't understand. I'm going to try to hit on all that in that series. So, um, you know, if you got some friends out there that uh, you maybe like to introduce to the world of Linux, uh, show them the videos, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll get them, get them to move over to the Linux side of things. Anyway, thanks a lot again, and uh, see you all on the next video.